Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I am gonna share my top five favorite vendors and my favorite scents from those vendors. I wanna start off by thanking you, Summer, for tagging me. I really appreciate you taking the time to think of me and tag me and include me. So this was super hard, you guys. I have accumulated way too much wax. I can't stop buying. Um, but I think within the past year, year and a half that now I've been buying vendor wax, I'm really able to determine what I really, really love versus what is something that I really like. Um, I tend to like a little bit of something from every category. I love outdoorsy, fresh blends. I love bakery. I do enjoy laundry. I have warmed up to the idea of fruity scents. So my collection has just gotten out of control because there really isn't a scent category that I don't enjoy. So even picking my favorites from some of these vendors was super hard, but um, I'm gonna try my very best. I have a lot pulled here in front of me. It's <laughs> a little crazy, but I'm gonna do my best to even, as I'm looking at these, just pick maybe three or four that I enjoy the most. Otherwise we would be here, it's Saturday, we probably would be here until Sunday night if I really wanted to blabber and pull out every single scent that I love. So I'm really trying to hone in on my favorites here. And I know a lot of us share the same favorite vendors. Um, and I've watched a few of you and there are a few staple scents from vendor to vendor that we all really enjoy. I'm gonna tr try and avoid mentioning those scents so these videos don't get too redundant, but I may just acknowledge that I do love those scents too, but I wanted to pick things that are new that maybe somebody else would wanna try or be encouraged to try. So yeah, I tried to pick things that I haven't heard anybody else talk about that are still favorites of mine. And like I said, if I share a favorite, I may, I'll may i acknowledge it as I bring the vendor up, but I don't wanna make these videos too repetitive. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. I will tag my people at the end, but I also wanna say, do not be discouraged. If you haven't been tagged, please, by all means, jump in, share your video, let us know our let us know your top favorite vendors and favorite scents. You don't need a tag to join this and be a part of the fun. Um, it's simply just to keep the tag in motion and keep the videos rolling out from everybody. Um, I actually started my channel with the Y Wax tag, even though I wasn't tagged. Um, I was watching YouTubers who I've enjoyed watching for a long time share their why. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna share mine. I think it's a great way to introduce myself to the community and so on. So same goes for any of you even if you don't have a channel and you want to start one and you kind of need the courage or the push to start one let this be your beginning share your favorite vendors share your favorite scents we can all get to know each other and just have a great time this community has been awesome but i'm going to go ahead and jump in my first favorite vendor that i want to talk about is rose girls rose girls is owned by jenny oaks in oshkosh wisconsin um I'm not gonna go in any particular order with my vendors, but the reason why I wanna mention Rose Girls first is because she was my first vendor wax purchase. And since then, I have just fallen in love with her wax. Um, in particular, I really, really love the way that she blends cologne and masculine freshy type blends. I'm a freshy lover at heart. I love all fresh blends, outdoorsy cologne blends, and she just knocks it out of the park with those type of scents. It's just incredible. They perform so well. Um, Jenny is pretty accessible. She has a couple of pre-order openings a year. She has a good amount of RTS um, restocks per year. She takes customer requests pretty well. So um, she offers a huge variety in every category. Um, so there's always something new to try with her. She's always coming out with new blends. She is super nice. Um, she has great customer service always is within her turnaround time and her wax is just performed so well for me. Um, I will say her bakery blends tend to have the shortest shelf life for me. I would say about after a year, year and a half, you could definitely um, notice the difference in throw where it's a little bit lighter. But her, another reason why I love her masculine fresh cologne type blends is they last and last and last, not only in your warmers, but in your storage, in the bags, everything. So yeah. The first one that I want to share is Makeup Sex. 
So this is Coastal Kale Raindrop Satsuma Masculine and Fresh. So this is a combination of her um, Morning Sex and her um, Speechless, which I know a lot of you love her Speechless. She blends it with so many different things and it's just incredible. And then Makeup Sex is her Morning Sex mixed with the Speechless. Get a lot of Satsuma in here. You get the raindrops. You get the fresh aspect as well from the coastal kale and then you get the cologne vibe from the um morning sex which is masculine and fresh so it's like it's almost like a cologne or a men's body wash fragrance and then mixed with the satsuma and the raindrops and the kale this is just absolutely beautiful it's uplifting it's refreshing it's a powerhouse this is will blow you out of your house like this is a 10 out of 10 amazing lasts all day gorgeous gorgeous freshy scent love that and on the same spectrum i have fierce morning sex in the november rain so this is fierce cologne which is abercrombie and fitch fierce which is my favorite cologne dupe i think that i've seen in the vendor wax world mixed with um november rain which is yankee candles november rain candle dupe and morning sex which is fresh and clean so this is just Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Cologne blended with a little bit of raindrops and then this is just a freaking hot sexy man coming out of the shower and then he went out into the rain and you get the freshness of the outdoor rain. This is gorgeous. This would be an incredible men's body wash. Like if my man showered in this every day lord have mercy i'd probably have 55 million kids <laughs> this is just so freaking good you guys amazing she like i said she just knocks it out of the park with her cologne fresh blends um one that i don't have here that i really really like from her is her dupe of aqua de Gio cologne um and metal mario which is stainless steel and seductive quiet man which is part of her mario lineup those two as well are just so gorgeous. Um, but anyway, these two are just a fresh cologne lover's dream. I cannot get enough of these. I love, love, love these so much. Next, I really enjoy her clothes on the line oil. I think she does really great laundry blends. They're just beautiful. They're powerhouses and she blends them with so many different things. So this one is as it was. So this one is um, clothes on the line, blended with cotton candy frosting and fresh rain. So this is a laundry blend sweetened up so beautifully with the cotton candy. And then you get an additional, aside from the laundry making this blend, blend fresh, you get the additional fresh clean aspect from the rain, which kind of pulls it away from being too laundry. So this is like a fresh clean blend with a beautiful combination of the sweet cotton candy. This is so unique. I really, really like this. It warms so beautifully. The cotton candy is so dominant in this on warm that it's just a beautiful cotton candy, clean, fresh scent. So different from anything I have. I really, really like this one. Nice two are from her Mario line. So this one is Thwomps. This is pine, peppermint, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow so this is like a nice freshly baked sugar cookie blended with peppermint and then you get the pine in the background so this is you know these kinds of blends are pretty popular around the holiday time but this one just performs so well this is like a nine for me and the way that the peppermint in this blends so beautifully with the pine and then you get the warm sugar cookie and the warmth of the sugar cookie definitely comes from that campfire marshmallow aspect of this. Like that toasty campfire marshmallow just makes that sugar cookie seem like a warm, gooey sugar cookie. It's just beautiful. A beautiful winter blend. I start warming this, I would say, like late fall. So like around Thanksgiving time throughout winter. This is so pretty. This is one when she offers it, I grab a couple of bags of it to hold me over until next year. So that is Thwomp's. And then my last Rose Girls mention is one that I'm just head over heels for. I really like Jenny's Espresso Oil. 
And so I had to mention Fire Mario. So this is Marshmallow Fireside Donut Holes and Espresso. So her espresso oil is next to none. It is literally like you walked into a little hometown coffee shop with freshly roasted espresso beans. It's just incredible how she does this. And then you get the smoky creaminess of the marshmallow fireside with a little bit of cinnamon sugar from the donut holes. I mean, this is my favorite coffee blend of all time. Last Mario pre-order last year, I got like three or four bags of this and I'm gonna do the same this year. It's just one that I love to blend warm on the weekends. I love to blend it with other bakeries. It is just a powerhouse. It's delicious, warm, cozy coffee blend. Really, really like this. And that is it for Rose Girls. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. There are so many blends from her that I really like, but I'm trying to hone it in so that this video isn't tremendous long and obnoxious um, but we will go ahead and move on to my second favorite vendor which I have a couple of right here hold on you guys I'm sorry let me get my life together and move these closer um, but my second favorite vendor is L3 Waxy Wonders she I believe she's the second vendor that I purchased from when I got into vendor wax and she is what got the ball rolling for me that is when I completely for lack of a better phrase and excuse my French, it's when I completely lost my shit with vendor wax and just spiraled out of control. <laughs> I can say at least 45 to 50% of my wax collection is L3. Like I just went off the bandwagon and lost my mind with all of her wax. Um, so the owner is Jennifer Westing of Junction City, Oregon. Reasons why I love L3. I mean, I could go on all day being by how much I have in my collection, the accessibility is phenomenal. I mean, she always has her site open with tons and tons of product. She offers a great variety of shapes. She has the trig tarts, she has bougie bars, she has puppy packs, she has scoops, she has loaves, which this one's chopped up. I mean, she just has everything. She has cloud cakes, she just has it all. Her prices are phenomenal. She, I believe she, from what I have seen and what I've dealt with personally, she is the, the most affordable or cheapest price per ounce wise on the market. Um, she is so generous and so thoughtful towards her customers. She is always taking customer requests. If she's doing a restock and there's something that you really wanted and it sold out and you let her know, she'll restock it for you so you can get your hands on it. Um, she's always doing customer creation contests. She does them a couple of times a year. And if you win, if your blend gets chosen, you get a gift certificate and your, your blend is added to the house blend list. Um, and then she, you know, donates through multiple charities throughout the year, every year around, um, pride month, she donates to, you know, the pride foundation. She currently has bee bars available where she is donating to help fundraise money to save the bees and increase their population. Like she is just always doing some sort of charity work. She is so thoughtful to her customers. She is just phenomenal all around. She has great customer service. Um, she's just, I can go on and on about how sweet and how great she is to her customers all around. She's a great person. She has great variety of scents. She offers scents in every single category. It's just her website's always loaded. Like I said, I could go on and on. It's just, She's fantab fantabulous is what I want to say. She's fabulous. Um, so I have so many favorites from L3, you guys. I just love her wax so much. Um, she comes up with so many unique blends that you may be afraid to try, but they just work. And she just does some magic with her oils that scents that you wouldn't even think go together are just phenomenal. But I'm going to try and stick to my favorites from her. Um, otherwise I could just do a whole dedicated video on L3. Um, so I want to just start off by saying I really love her coffee oils. Um, my favorite of hers is her roasted coffee, which I don't have a trig of, but I have coffee bean and coffee house. So coffee bean is just like straight up coffee grinds. And then coffee house is like a sweet cinnamon sugar kind of coffee oil. Um, I really like all of her coffee oils. I think they all do really great in blends. They're powerful, they're delicious, they're decadent, and they really come alive on warm. 
so I really love her coffee. Um, one blend that is a newfound obsession of mine is Boston Cream Pie. You guys, this is phenomenal. Like, this is like, I, if you had me blindfolded and had me smell this, I would think you would have my nose stuck in a bowl of just pure brownie batter. That's exactly what this smells like, like delicious, decadent, realistic brownie batter. Um, so Boston cream pie is brownie batter, yellow cake, vanilla butter fudge, and brown sugar pound cake. When you warm this, you get a tiny bit of the brown sugar from the brown sugar pound cake. Um, yellow cake and vanilla butter fudge, I don't even detect on warm. Um, just it's brownie batter mixed with a little bit of brown sugar from the brown sugar pound cake. My fiance and I are currently obsessed with this. We warmed this like two nights in a row and it was just delicious and decadent. Um, I, I have no words for this. It is so good. And I'm normally not a chocolate and wax fan, but this is like God tier for me. And I can't, I need more of this. It's delicious. So that's Boston cream pie. All right. Next, I love just her plain salty sea air. It's just beautiful, salty, aquatic, uplifting. If I don't know what to melt and I just want something that's going to put me in a good, happy mood and be fresh and just beautiful. I love just warming this. I've gone through several trig tarts of this. And then I think this is my last available little piece that I have left of her plain salty sea air. So I need to get more of this, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Next is um, another fresh blend that I absolutely love from her. This is Pacific Woods, Seattle Rain, Green Clover, and Aloe. So this is a fresh, clean scent, but it's more on the green and outdoorsy side. You get the Green Clover and Aloe the strongest. The Aloe gives it like, almost like a, a little bit of a cologne essence to it. But then the Pacific Woods and the Seattle Rain just make this like a beautiful, strong, outdoorsy, fresh scent. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is a powerhouse. This is like a nine going on 10. This will blow you out of your house. So you can cut these shapes in half um, and it'll be just fine. I've gone through a couple of scoops of this. I have like two more puppy packs of this aside from this. I always want this in my collection. It's just beautiful, performs great, gorgeous blend. All right. Another scent that I love from her is her pistachio pudding cake. I love her pistachio pudding cake. It does lean a bit cherry, but this is much stronger on the actual pistachio. Um, I have tried other vendors' pistachios, and I do enjoy them, but they tend to lean more on, like, the cherry almond side of pistachio. But her pistachio pudding cake is just, like, warm, gooey pistachio. It's just delicious. I love this so much. It's so good. If you're a pistachio lover and you haven't tried this on its own, I highly recommend it. Um, all right, a couple more here. Um, these all next ones, I love her forest, outdoorsy, woodsy blends. So these last three are all on the same spectrum. First one is Palo Santo, Cashmere Cedar, and Vanilla Birch. You guys, her Cashmere Cedar oil is next to none. It is just sexy outdoorsy oh god the cashmere blended with the cedar it's just there's no other way to describe it but sexy it's just sexy outdoorsy fresh and you get the depth and the smokiness from the palo santo and a little bit of vanilla essence from the vanilla birch but really the vanilla birch just makes this a tad more woodsy this is just beautiful I requested this in one of her most recent pre-orders and she poured it. So I got two scoops of it and I haven't dug into them yet because I'm waiting for it to get a little cooler out. But this is a staple for me for winter time, like fall into winter. I absolutely love this. And this will be something I always have in my collection. Next is one I talked about in my summer favorites. So this is Pyramid Head. So this is Toasty Warm Bonfires, Hay Bales and Pine Trees. Picture yourself camping, you're surrounded by pine trees that are as tall as you can see. The pines have, the pine needles have fallen, they're scattered around you around a campfire, and you have the smokiness of the campfire 
wafting towards you no matter where you move your chair. I know this has happened to you guys as well. No matter where you move your chair around the campfire, the smoke just tends to follow you. That's what this reminds me of. Just a beautiful, smoky, woodsy scent. And then the hay. Hay is such a unique and beautiful oil. It just adds like texture to the blend. Like it just adds like a dry woodsiness to this blend that just makes it so comforting. I absolutely love this. I, If you've been watching me long enough, you know I love all types of tree and bonfire type scents. This is no exception, and this is the blend that made me realize how much I love Bonfire Woodsy blends. So this is a top, top tier of all vendor wax for me. I really, really love this one. <clears throat> and then last from L3, I have Vanilla Oak, Vanilla Birch, and Toasted Marshmallow. I'm holding on to this until I can get a little bit more of this blend. This is a delicious tree blend and then you get the warmth and the coziness of the toasted marshmallow and the vanilla from both the vanilla oak and the vanilla birch this is so good this is like a sweet vanilla blend with the woodsy oak and the birch in this so so nice cozy great for late summer going into fall all throughout winter i really really enjoy this warm cozy comforting like it's unbelievable this i haven't seen anybody talk about this it hasn't been back since i bought this loaf so that's why i've hung on to it and next time she asks for a request you know i'm gonna ask for this and i'm gonna buy more so that was it with l3 okay next i have sassy girl aroma so sassy girl aroma has been a favorite of mine since i started buying vendor wax in the beginning of 2021 she is another vendor that just has great customer service. Julie has always been super kind to me. There has been a time or so where I've had issues with my order, it was missing an item or whatever. No questions asked, she would send my item out right away or make it if there was none of it left and I and it was missing from my order, she would make it again for me and send it to me. Um, she is now having pre-orders every single Friday, so her wax is easily accessible. She takes requests fairly often um, and her blends and performance, her blends are so good. She has my favorite bakery blends um, out of any vendor so far that I've tried. Her and one other vendor, I really enjoy their bakery, um, but her bakery is next to none for me. Her performance, like I have few and far between duds from Sassy Girl. I think off the top of my head, I could say maybe I've had two or three out of the so many so many blends i've tried from her but her wax usually is generally between like a seven and a nine for me in performance um so it always does super well and her blends are just sophisticated i love them they're gorgeous um she does a great variety of bakery fresh clean she does great dupes of hotel scents perfumes you name it um, she also makes beautiful perfumes to buy, which I've shared in previous hauls. I just really, really love her as a business. <clears throat> and for good reason, I know many of you love her too. So we'll just jump into some of my favorites, you guys. I have, like, this is what I pulled as my favorites from Sassy Girl Aroma. <clears throat> I'm going to try and go through them now and just pick my absolutes that I can't live without. Um, because this is obnoxious. All right, let me see. So this is one, like I mentioned, that I also love, but I know everyone else has loved, so I'm not going to share it. But as an honorable mention, I absolutely love her night on the beach. So that's a given. Um, Black Hood is one I have been buying for well over a year now. It's been a repurchase of mine for, like I said, well over a year. It is just a staple for me. I absolutely love this. Um, this one actually has the wrong label description on it, but this is just a smoky, sweet, woodsy vanilla scent. I love this. The woodsy smokiness to this almost gives it like a masculine smoky vibe. And then it's sweetened up with the vanilla. This is so beautiful. I have this loaf of it and I am pretty sure I've gone through like four brittles or so of it as well. It's just one of my staple favorites that I've been buying since I started buying Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, I know Melissa Johnson hate 
also loves this too. Um, she, since she has tried this, you know, since she started buying Sassy Girl, she raves about this too. This has been a favorite of mine for so long now. I have it in the perfume, which my perfume is about halfway done now. I absolutely love it. Whenever I wear this perfume, I get compliments on it. It's just sexy, smoky, sweet vanilla. It's delicious. If you haven't tried Black Hood, I highly, highly recommend. Next, I absolutely love her cupcakes at Tiffany's. Um, she has my favorite cupcakes at Tiffany's out there. It's rich, it's decadent, it's delicious. So I, not only do I love her cupcakes at Tiffany's on its own, um, I also love a couple of her cupcakes at Tiffany's blends, which I have here, so I'll share those. Um, in particular, I love Camp Tiffany's. So this is Campfire Marshmallow Roasted Up Cupcakes at Tiffany's. So the decadent, gooey cupcake toffee cupcake that cupcakes at tiffany's is blended with the toasty campfire marshmallow the smokiness in this is dominant from the campfire marshmallow and i think that's why i love this so much because it's just such a smoky sweet bakery blend this is out of this world i have this brittle that i've melted several times i've gone through one already last winter and i still have one more to go through but this is one that whenever she offers it, I will pick it up because I love it that much. So that is Camp Tiffany. And then my, I love her coffee blends too. I know I mentioned L3 does have my favorite coffee. Sassy Girl Aroma also does delicious coffee. Um, I just love all coffee blends. But this one is Cupcakes at Tiffany's blended with Caramel Latte. You guys, this is to die for. Not only is her cupcakes at Tiffany's super strong, but then you mix it with a caramel latte. This is decadent, delicious coffee. I could not ask for anything more in a coffee blend. You get the caramel latte, you get the toffee, you get the cupcake, you get the buttercream, you get the you get a little sweet creaminess of the vanilla butter fudge from the cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. I have about half of this loaf left and then I know I will repurchase whatever she offers it in. I will buy multiple barrels of it or another loaf. Powerhouse, like this is a nine going on 10. I had this in like last Saturday and I was running errands so I didn't change my wax. I came back home at like 4.30, five o'clock in the evening and this was still going just as strong. This is so good. This is Lattes at Tiffany's. Um, let's see. Keeping up on the beach night trend, not only do I love her beach nights, but one of my favorite beach nights blends from her is Orca Island. So this is beach nights blended with blackberry and birthday cake. Her blackberry is stunning. It doesn't lean floral at all to me. It's just a strong, potent, juicy, delicious blackberry. And then when you warm this, the birthday cake and the beach nights just blend so well together to make this just a decadent, delicious blackberry bakery. I absolutely love this. Love this. Love this. This is a super strong performer. I actually went back and re-chopped up some of these pieces in this loaf even smaller because it's so strong that you don't even need big pieces of this. I just love this so much. So that is Orca Island. Okay. Sassy Girl Aroma, I don't know if I mentioned this because I'm so excited to get through all this, but she has my favorite bakery blends. And one of my absolute favorites is Pistachio Zucchini Waffle Cone. Absolutely love her zucchini bread. It's spicy, it's savory, it's delicious. Um, and then blended with the waffle cone and her pistachio, which her pistachio leans a little bit more on the cherry almond, like I was saying before but it's just so good blended with the waffle cone and the savory decadent zucchini bread. This is just delicious. This will always be a repurchase for me. I know Summer Michelle, I know you love this one too, Summer. Um, and for good reason, this is so good. Um, Dazzling Scents with Chris. I know Chris, I know you love pistachio. If you see Sassy Girl Aroma offer this and you haven't tried it yet, you need to try this. You would, you would lose your mind over this. This is delicious. So good. 
All right, next, I like her laundry blends a lot too. They're beautiful. I don't melt laundry as much as I thought I would when I started buying wax. I do have a decent amount of laundry blends in my collection, but I have found when I want something clean, I go more for like masculine clean and fresh, more so than laundry. Um, but this is one of the laundry blends that I absolutely love. It's my favorite laundry blend from any vendor across the board. <clears throat> this is Laundry Today or Naked Tomorrow. Sorry about the glare. Um, and this is actually the first scent from her that I bought in a perfume, and it's stunning. This is Vanilla Lavender, Island Fresh Gain, Pink Sugar, and Vanilla Bean Noel. You guys, this is so beautiful. Even if you're not a huge laundry fan, I encourage you to try this if you just want like a feminine, fresh scent. The Island Fresh Gain blended with the Pink Sugar and the Vanilla Lavender. This is just such a beautiful, feminine, clean, fresh fragrance. The perfume is so good. Like, it lasts on me all day. I just smell, like, fresh and clean and pretty. Like, I just feel so confident when I wear that. I get compliments almost every single time I wear that perfume on how good I smell. And when I do a deep cleaning day on my in my house and I want something to just brighten up the space and have it smell happy and clean, I love putting this in. This is so, so good. So that is Laundry Today or Naked Tomorrow. And not to mention, I just love the colors in this loaf. It's so good. And this sucker is a powerhouse, so I have this double bagged. When I warm this, this is like an 8, 9. Super strong, super sweet, fresh, clean. Love it. And my last one is Amityville. So this is heading to camp with the addition of the smoky firewood. So this is burnt sugar, whipped cream, sticky sweet cocoa, vanilla, fresh from the oven bakery, and a subtle hint of smoky firewood. So this is like crispy burnt sugar. You get sugar cookies and the smokiness of the firewood. This is just such a beautiful winter, sweet winter scent. Like if you want something bakery, but you don't want like a, like a hot gooey cookie, but you want something that's sweet and that'll make your house smell inviting. This is so nice. I really, really like this. I've gone through a couple of brittles of this. Um, I've also gone, gone through a bag of blocks of heading to camp, which I really love, but I actually think I prefer Amityville better. So this will always be in my collection. I really, really like this one. <clears throat> So as hard as it was for me to narrow, narrow down my Sassy Girl Aroma, that is it with her. My next favorite is Teddy Bees. And you guys, this was super hard for me to narrow down. I have a lot of blends here and I'm going to try, if I can, to just go through them as quickly or group some together so that I can just keep carrying on. Um, but I will say, as much as I enjoy L3s, Sorry if you hear, I think the landscapers just showed up, so I'm sorry if you hear like weed whacking or lawnmower going. They're like right outside the window of where I am, of course. Um, <clears throat> so sorry if you hear that. Um, as I was saying, I know I mentioned I love how much I love L3s, like outdoorsy fresh blends, but L3, as much as they are great, I love Teddy Bees. Um, so Teddy Bees is owned by Tiffany Smith in Houston, Texas. Um, I just filmed my Teddy Bees RTS haul and I mentioned in there how I just go ballistic with Teddy Bees wax. There is something like many of us agree on. There is something just so sophisticated and beautiful and classy about her blends. It's just her wax is phenomenal. Her blends are just so unique. They're classy, sophisticated. I don't even know how else to describe it. Um, she is a little bit harder to get a hold of, so I think that's where like my diehard need to buy way too much comes from because she only does like three pre-orders a year followed by three RTSs after those pre-orders. <clears throat> and she has so many scents that sometimes it could take like a year or more to get more of a blend that you love. So as much as I love her wax, the availability for me um, is <clears throat> as much as I love her, that's what makes me go crazy about buying her stuff because we never know you're going to get a hold of it again. But I need to kind of let go of that mentality, learn to melt through what I have and try new things. Um, 
but for me that's where Teddy B's falls a little bit short with availability compared to other vendors um, just because it may take you like a year or so <clears throat> before you can get your blends again that you really love um, so anyway as I was saying along the lines of those tree woodsy outdoorsy scents she does my absolute favorite they're just sophisticated they're gorgeous they're strong um, and I have a few here along that spectrum that are my favorites one of them being the north so this is vanilla balsam palo santo marshmallow fireside and a hint of smoldering firewood this is like pine needles with smoky smoky bonfire and her vanilla balsam is next to none it's just beautiful it's crisp it's outdoorsy this is just stunning like the depth of this blend with how strong it is in the tree notes and then the smokiness of the firewood and the marshmallow fireside this is just stunning um this is one of the first loaves i've ever purchased from teddy bees i purchased a second loaf of this in a d stash i have souffles of this like this is just a top tier for me across any vendor and with teddy bees so i love this so much <clears throat> next is god's woods Another absolute favorite of mine from Teddy B's. This is Palo Santo, Birchwood Pine, and Vanilla Balsam. Same thing, just delicious, strong, heavenly, outdoorsy blend. This is very strong on the pine. You get the smokiness from the Palo Santo, and then her beautiful, strong Vanilla Balsam sweetens it up a little bit. This is just woodsy heaven. Like, this is a powerhouse. This is a dead-on, solid, no doubt, about it. no doubt about it. This is a 10 out of 10 on throw. This will last 24 plus hours in my warmers. It is stunning. Um, and the last woodsy tight blend, I know I picked up the Black Dread in this most recent pre-order. It was my favorite scent out of the whole pre-order. But I haven't warmed it yet, so I couldn't include it. But another one that I absolutely love is Anthony's Cabin which is birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. So this is pine cone, pine, and citrus, a beautiful blend of all of them as soon as you smell the blend. And then when you warm this, the, war the warmth of the woods and the sandalwood just blends so beautifully with that citrus and the pine needles. This is a beautiful wintry cabin vibe for your house in the winter time this is stunning i also love that this blend was created in memory of um one of the very well-known members of teddy bees's group her son passed away so this was created in memory of him so every year there's a set date that we all will melt this in honor of him so i love that aspect too the sentimental aspect behind this blend just means a lot in general i just love that um so this is stunning. If you're looking for a new wintry scent to try, I'm pretty sure she offers this every winter. This is really, really nice. Um, an honorable mention for Teddy Bees as far as the woodsy scents is Cabin in the Woods. One of my absolute favorite blends from Teddy Bees. I haven't had it in quite some time. I've been requesting it and I hope it comes in this next pre-order so I can get more because I will buy multiple loaves of it. Um, but it's pretty similar to Anthony's Cabin. It just has like a um, like a more of like a wet earth and crunchy leaf aspect to it that I absolutely love. It's gorgeous. Um, oh my God, you guys, I have so many favorites from her. Next is Blush. I know I've talked about this on my channel before. This is Vanilla Birch blended with peach flesh, strawberries, warm woods, and marshmallows. Her Vanilla Birch is just magical. She could blend it with anything and it's just so beautiful. And then her peach flesh oil, it was the same peach flesh oil that's in vanilla and stone fruit, which I absolutely love. Um, so her vanilla balsam with the peach flesh is just so warm and beautiful. And then you get the, the juiciness of the strawberries in this too, and the sweetness of the marshmallows. This is just so, so pretty. A beautiful fruity scent, and you have the woodsy aspect of the vanilla birch and the warm woods. This is stunning. This is something that I have fallen in love with from Teddy Bees over the past year. I have two, this clamshell, another clamshell, and a souffle. 
and I'm so glad I'm loaded up on this. I'm going to try and get this to come back in this pre-order as well because I know Alexis also loves this and I would love for more of you to try this. It is just so unique and beautiful. So that is blushed. Um, next, let's see. I have a bakery blend here that I absolutely adore from her. This is Cozy Cookie Cake. So this is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookies. So this is warm, gooey, decadent beach nights blended with vanilla cake. And it's just delicious. Strong, gooey, vanilla, decadent bakery absolutely stunning i have this loaf and i have a souffle i believe of it too and i may have i think i actually have a tub i went ballistic in the not this pre-order that just ended but the one previously to that i went crazy buying this because i realized how much i loved it so i'm loaded up for quite some time on that um sticking with her beach nights i love tiffany's beach nights or she calls it beach treats interchangeably escobar is phenomenal this is Palo Santo blended with her beach treats. So it's that warm, gooey vanilla beach treats blended with the smokiness of the Palo Santo. This is so freaking good. Love this. If you like Palo and you like beach nights, if you haven't tried this, highly recommend this. This is really, really good. I have this souffle and I think two or three other souffles too. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is... I am hanging on to my last little bit until I could get more. This is cinnamon toast and coffee bean a la mode. This is so good, you guys. This is buttery, sugary cinnamon toast blended with sweet roasted coffee. This is a freaking powerhouse. This is like an eight or a nine. This is delicious, decadent coffee. I keep saying decadent and I'm sorry for being repetitive, but there's no other way to describe these blends. <clears throat> This is delicious cinnamon sugar buttery coffee and it's a powerhouse. I'm going to request this in the next pre-order and I hope to God it comes back because I need to load up on it. So, so good. And then my last two from Teddy B's are both like aquatic fresh blends. I know I've talked about these both on my channel. Um, it's ocean and beach blanket. So ocean is fresh air and crisp ocean breezes. So just a beautiful, aquatic, uplifting, salty sea air blend. This is beautiful. It's strong. It's clean. It's just beautiful, aquatic, fresh, salty sea air. I'm so glad that I found this loaf in a D-stash because I finished my last souffle and then I ran out. So I was like looking all over. I posted in a couple D-stash groups in search of and some sweet girl sold this to me. She didn't even have it posted. She's like, I have a loaf, I'll sell it to you. I was like, bless you. Like you are my savior. I have not seen this offered again. This was from September, 2022, so almost a year ago. I requested this in the previous pre-order that started in May and it didn't make the list. So this is beautiful. If you are a salty sea air aquatic lover, you need ocean in your life. It is gorgeous. And then this is more of a newfound love for me from the May pre, uh, no, from the January pre-order of this year. This is Beach Blanket. So this is scent of cotton sheets, ocean air, and fresh coconut. I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I've said this other times that I've talked about this blend. This is a dupe, if not super close to fresh coconut and cotton from Bath and Body Works. If there's any difference, it's just that this has more of a creamy coconut but it's laundry, like a freshly clean laundered blanket that you brought to the beach. It picked up the scent of that salty sea air and the waves crashing around you. And then you get like a creamy coconut, almost like you're drinking a creamy coconut drink or the essence of your sunscreen, the creamy coconut sunscreen. Don't get me wrong. This is not a sunscreen blend, but I'm saying like the essence of the creamy coconut kind of can give you a vibe of a sunscreen but it's not sunscreen-esque at all in this there's just a fresh laundry-esque blend with a creamy coconut this is so beautiful i love this so much i have a couple of souffles of this and then i'll be on the hunt to get more this is so stunning so 
Of course, the landscaping is getting louder, but that's okay because I'm done. Um, sorry if I, oh my God, you guys, no, I'm not done. I have my fifth vendor. Oh my God. Let me try and get through this pretty quickly because they're now mowing the whole perimeter of my house. So it's getting very loud. My fifth favorite vendor is the newest vendor to me and she has completely shot up to my favorite vendors in my collection is Lavender and Speckles. You guys, we all can say the same beautiful things about Beth. She is just phenomenal. She is the sweetest person. She is accommodating. She is attentive to her customers. She has great communication. Her pre-order pre lists, no joke, are overwhelmingly long in the best way because it has such a variety of everything. And she just does so well at taking everybody's requests and wanting everybody to have something new to try. Her blends are, on, I would say, on the same level of sophistication from what I've tried as Teddy B's, which bravo to you, Beth, for being a newer vendor and being able to create such beautiful, unique blends. You are knocking it out of the park. I just adore you. I adore your wax. And I know I'll be a customer of yours for life. I just absolutely love your wax. Her wax performs so well, super strong. Her prices are next to none. I mean, next to L3, her and L3, I think are the most affordable vendors that I purchased from. Um, she is located out of Alabama and all, all over the place. I'm trying to wrap this up because it's super loud outside around me, um, but I'll just jump in and share. I have two honorable mentions, which I just ordered from her pre-order. You probably have seen me post like a psychopath all over her Facebook group about bonfires by the sea. God tier scent. It is a salty sea air scent. You're having a bonfire on the ocean. You're getting the smokiness of the bonfire, the saltiness of the salty sea air with pine trees in the distance. It's just gorgeous. So I love that one. And my next favorite one from her that I don't have is Rory's Boyfriends. So that is um, Abercrombie and Fierce. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Tight blended with vanilla birch. Stunning. Um, so I have both of the, those coming to me, which I am super excited about. And then the ones that I do have on hand that I really love, um, I know several of you have mentioned Donut Shop in Palo Santo. Um, delicious, decadent Palo Bakery. I really like Beth's Palo. And then blended with the strong cinnamon donut in this. It's just beautiful. I really, really like this one. This is one of my favorite bakery blends from her that I've tried, so I'll always want this on hand. Um, next is Santa Cheeseburger. This is so good, you guys. This is fresh baked sugar cookies, cocoa beans, rich buttercream, vanilla bean Noel, and marshmallow cream blended with cake batter. So just all the vanilla deliciousness that you could want in a blend is this. It's just so good. It's a rich vanilla bakery and then you get a slight slight ever so slight hint of the cocoa but on warm this is predominantly vanilla to my nose it's really really good i love this one next is delightful bakery which is simply delightful strawberry pound cake sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread it's getting louder delicious her strawberry pound cake is sweet it's smooth it's so realistic very close to the Bath and Body Works in my opinion. And then blended with the zucchini bread and the sugar cookies. This is beautiful, a good bakery staple. I really, really like this one. And then my last favorite one that I have on hand from her that I've warmed is um, Dark Amber and Tobacco. So this is Bay Leaf, Cedarwood, Bergamot, Tobacco Leaf, Dark Amber, Rosewood, and Tonka Bean. I love tobacco blends and then blended with the amber and the tonka bean in this. This is just so beautiful. It's smoky. It's rich. It's sexy. I love this so much. That's dark amber and tobacco. Um, another one that I really, really like from her, I don't have it available, is vanilla mahogany coconut. So it's mahogany coconut from Bath and Body Works mixed with like it's, I think it's just like a creamy vanilla, really good. I just finished that bag recently, so I really like that one. Um, and those, 
so far are my favorites that I've worn from Lavender and Speckles. Like I said, she is one of my newer vendors that I've tried, so I still have a lot to try from her and I'm super excited. She has been so successful so far and I'm so happy for her. Um, so now I could say those are my top favorite vendors. Um, Rose Girls, L3, Sassy Girl Aroma, Teddy Bees, and Lavender and Speckles. Like I said, I tried to pick ones that, although they may be staple favorites of other people, and I may share the same, I tried to pick ones that are still my top favorites, but ones that weren't mentioned already, just to keep from being too redundant. But now, I can go ahead and tag a couple of people. I think we're tagging like three people. Um, first person I'm gonna tag is Lexi from Two Quick Wicks. Like, I don't even know if Lexi watches my channel, but the whole reason why I started buying Vendor Wax and took the plunge and bought Rose Girls was because I love watching Lexi's videos. And she doesn't post as frequently anymore, but she used to rave and rave about Rose Girls Wax, and she is the reason why I jumped in and started buying Vendor Wax. So Lexi, if you happen to watch me for any reason, or if you have before and you happen to see this, I would love to hear from you and hear your top five vendors and your favorite scents. I just love watching Lexi. She is just so relatable. She's funny. She describes sense so well. I just really enjoy her content. Um, the next person I want to tag who I don't even know if they watch me is Ashley Overly. I love watching Ashley. To me, she is just so comforting. She's relatable as well. She can just describe a scent and it's like you're sitting next to her and you're smelling it with her. She, her nose is just amazing. She also loves a little bit of everything like I do. So I love looking out for her recommendations to try because I'm always looking for something new to try and she dabbles into a little bit of everything like I do. And she just seems like such a sweet person. Um, I don't think she watches me, but I'll tag her anyway. And Ashley, if you get this notification and would love to share yours, I would love to hear. Um, I think through watching you for a long time, I have a, goody, a pretty good taste of, or an idea of who I think your tops will be in your categories, but I would love to hear them from you yourself. Um, and then the last person I would like to tag is Carrie from Carrie's Collections. Um, I just think Carrie is the sweetest person. She is always the first one to hype you up and welcome you to the community. And she is just the sweetest. She does giveaways. She is just like I feel like I just want to be best friends with Carrie like I just think she is the sweetest person ever um she was one of the first to welcome me into the community when I started not too long ago and I just I really enjoy her content she's always buying from new smaller vendors um so it's great to watch her and get her recommendations so that you have a new shop to try she's tried so many smaller vendors I've never even heard of so I love that I could watch her content and put someone new on my list to try. And she does a great job at describing scents. Her uploads are pretty consistent. She has great content. So Carrie, if you're watching, tag your it. And I'm gonna cheat and mention a fourth person. And I'm gonna mention Candace from Scents with Candace. I really enjoy her too. She has just been on a roll with her teddy bees hauling like I have. So hey girl, I know we're on the same wavelength with buying too much and we can't stop. But Candace is just such a sweet person too. I really enjoy her videos and I would love to hear what you have to say. I know we share some of the same bakery loves. So um, I would love to hear your favorites and your favorite vendors. Um, and I will link all these channels down below so that you can go ahead and watch these channels if you haven't already. I'm sure you're probably familiar with them. But with that being said, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope this was fun for you as it was for me. I'm sorry if I stumbled over my words and had word vomit and whatever the case was, my voice is running out. But I had a lot of fun. It's like you don't realize how many loves you have until you put them all in front of you. Wax just makes me so happy. I'm so happy that we all share the same love for home fragrance. These videos have just been so much fun. So we will chat in the comments. Let me know down below if we share any similar favorites or any favorites at all. If you have any from these companies that you want me to try that you think I would love, I am so down to try anything new. But anyway, without further rambling, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching and we will chat soon. Bye.